Right, so we have got James here. James has made quite a, a dramatic transformation with his physique, his health, and his um, his nutrition, his, his eating habits. So we're going to talk a little bit about um, that journey and what James's experience has been like um, on that journey. So, James, tell us what were your biggest um, or, or what what were the what were the reasons that you wanted to start making changes before you had even discovered my coaching program and how I could help. What, what, why did you want to change? Um, I had... Uh, I, 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 I look at yourself in the mirror. I see myself in the mirror and obviously I've, I've been carrying a lot more weight than previously. Yeah. So um, I was kind of lethargic a lot of the time. I mean, I work away all the time, so I would come back to the hotel and I would just sit around. Um, it's just a feeling of not... Not like you're not alert. You're just like I kind of keep doing this. This is not mm -hmm. a nice place to be. Do you know what yeah. I mean? It's hard. It's difficult to know that now because I can't remember it now because it's kind of forgotten. Yeah. Not forgotten, but I just obviously just the way I'm now is like, like it's a million times better. Yeah. So I mean, obviously you tried to make those changes yes, quite a few times before getting uh -huh. getting some coaching, getting that. some help. So what what would you say were the, the kind of biggest frustrations you were finding whilst trying to do that on your own? A word you'll hear for yourself a lot is consistency. That was the problem. I had tried various different like ways to try and get me going um, and the way I work, especially in my work. So I could be staying anywhere in England anywhere. So I would go down on a Monday and I could come home on a Thursday or I could stay to the Friday. So there was never any... There's no, I can't join a gym because the gym might not be there. I could be next to the different gym or it's just, I'd have to get five different gym members if I wanted to go to the gym. That was no good to me. I, I, so I, I obviously thought that at some point I maybe just start doing stuff in my own room and that's when I started yeah. looking around for stuff to just suit what I was doing rather than me having to suit to do whatever, whatever, whatever city I was in or yeah. you know, whichever part of the country. Um, like having done other programs as well, like... Um, I would, I would like. I've done that insanity. I've done it twice. I lost a shed load of weight. Um, looked good. Did not feel good because um, I, I lost muscle. I definitely lost muscle mass. It's plus all the weight. So I, I just didn't look great. And I know I've lost muscle mass because I couldn't lift stuff or like you know. Yeah, you've I mean, pull ups. I used to be pull ups. I've lost my strength. <clears throat> not not so much now. So after after doing that. It would just be like that training's done, and then I just I wouldn't do anything else. Um, I don't really follow the the, the what would you call that the eating habits that they suggested yet. I just ate what I perceived to be nice food, but yeah. the healthier foods. But what probably looking back at, I, I don't really have the knowledge to know. They were, they were always trying to sell you supplements like every time you're on this. Like, oh, get this stuff, get that stuff. Right, got you. And I I I don't dabble in in so. Uh, uh, Supplements. I do take a multivitamin now and those fish oils, but that's it. Yeah. Cool. So, on that note, what uh -huh. would you what would you say was different um, to the the coaching journey and the program that you did with me in comparison right. to anything you might have tried before? Right. This was you can see quite early that it's trying to get you to have the onus in what you're doing. It's like not up to you from what me to do. It's trying to teach me to just you know to be better at what I'm supposed to be doing if you know what I mean so I think that's right so like you're not like hounding me stay this stay that you say look this is the programme here well, firstly I could do it in my room that, that first and foremost the training side I, of the it the training yeah. side of it I could do it in my room and I did I still do it in my room that's what I do now um, okay I maybe do some other bits I go to a gym sometimes but that's just whenever I'm at a gym that's maybe in the hotel mm -hmm. I use it for cardio or I'll go and use the pool or something like that but Having to be able to do it in my room was a big thing for me. Yeah. So all I do now, I, I, I obviously get some resistance bands. I think of two sets of resistance bands, and then we were talking about my stomach was a wee bit kind of flabby and, and could be doing with getting tightness. So we've got the ab roller, and then I get obviously suggested later on. These these are things I didn't buy them right away. It was like, you know, collect collect them as I went. Building it in. I have build it in. You need maybe try that, try this, and then it, it seems to have worked what really about, well. What about your nutrition side of things? That how, how that was that? that my nutritional side of things was so off course. Now, now 
I, I know the kind of nutrients that I need to get me through the day and I'm still sticking to it, which is really good. Don't get me wrong, I, I'm in a hotel, I'll go out and have a few beers with the guys, but, you know, overall, it's, you know, per it's perfect. No, no, I'm not perfect, perfect, but yeah. I now know what I need, when I need it. And I don't, I don't have to, like, I don't worry about what I'm going to eat now because I know what I'm going to eat. I know, to, like, like, later on tonight, I know the wife's making brisket, so I don't need to worry. She, she'll have lots of veg. I've, I've made sure that I went out and bought veg to make sure that if there's none in the house, there's some in the freezer, I'll just get them out. Honestly, it's brilliant. So, so you have a bunch of habits now. You know, just oh, yeah, how, yeah. That's how you eat. Yeah, you know, yes, rather, I do. Rather than you're it's not habitual. In fact, not on a diet or on a plan, this is just like what you do and it's automatic. That, <laughs> this falls in quite funny because I sat down here in this car about two minutes ago before we started this and habitually just sat down, even though we're not going driving anywhere, I just went... Yeah, and put the, the and put, seat put the seatbelt on. And he was like, well, where are we going? We're just sitting here. And I was like, so uh, habits, yeah, they're very, very good. And it's you a, it's come a, up with very, very like habits of, of what you eat, when you eat, how you train. You, if you keep these things going, it just automatically falls into place. Yeah, it automatic. Uh -huh, and it does. Do. Yeah. I just so, come in for work and automatically work out. That's how it works. So can you take us to the... the point in the journey where you realise right okay this is like this is really working for me now yeah well there's different times through the course that, that you'll see that um, yeah. well the first time was when I lifted um, on if you look at a, a train most of the train I work on is like below where you would see so if yeah. you're stood on a platform you just walk straight on and it's like level <laughs> well everything beneath there I, I'm kind of working on it but that's, that's about there on me, just right about here maybe. So having to lift things up and put them up onto the, the work surfaces, like just to get up to, to the platforms and then get into the, the doors to the train. I, I lifted something, I can't even remember what it was, but it was something that was heavy and I just picked it up and I just put it up on the thing and I was thinking, I've, I couldn't lift that before. I can mm. lift it to here, I could not lift it to there. Put that overhead. And I just went yeah. straight up and it just went straight in and I was like, so that was the first time and then you start, obviously, when you come out the shower and you walk by a mirror and you think, oh my God, look at that. And you notice <laughs> yourself losing you the weight coming away. So I, it was like different things like that. Nice one. You start seeing shape in your legs as well. That's, That's great. So last question. Mm -hmm. What was the, what would you say was your favourite part of the programme? If there's one thing. It's, it's... Everything that I've done before, I didn't have a plan of what I was going to do after. I now have a plan of where I'm going to go after because of the course. The course has left me with the ground, the groundwork to know how to navigate, like what I should eat, what I should do, like um, exercise-wise. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be set on those days. I can do it whenever I can fit it in. It's just as long as I get it fitted in. Yep. And it, and and this is the this is the one that always got me was the I used to beat myself up about if I, if I missed something or or I didn't eat the right thing or there was nothing else there to eat which is a bullshit excuse. Yeah, which, which even even yeah. me as a nutrition coach, yeah. I you know yeah. I, I know. often eat yeah. what we class is not the right thing and and mm. miss workouts and shit. Wipe the slate clean. Yeah. That just wipe the slate clean and just get back to it and get that one percent better as every day just keep trying nice one so you have a you have like a mindset's changed a mindset now. yeah it uh, has mindset now shift. complete mindset shift so that um i know that i can fuck it up sometimes you know what i mean and i'll i'll be fine i'll just keep going good and look where we're at now yes here we are we're just after coming off a of ben vorlich and uh loch lomond yep nice one all right james thanks very much <laughs> cheers cheers